Hello everybody, this is John Mark Johnson Jr. again, host of Reformed GGA, here with a quick update on some recent shooting that I did. I took uh, back out my Bursa TPR-9C and did a little bit of shooting with that. You can see the, the two targets there. Um, this was the one that I was focusing on the most. This one I got a little lazy and that accounts for part of this red. Part of it is fatigue and the other part is I'm just a bad shot. Um, and here, even here you see uh, some problems. There definitely has a rightward tendency and an upward tendency. So I'm shooting high right with it. And with fairly small guns and handguns in general, I, I tend to shoot high uh, right and I, I need to work on that obviously. Um, and then the other one, like I said, I wasn't carrying quite as much, but it is what it is. Uh, but anyways, as far as how I'm shooting with that gun versus others, uh, on the one that I was trying fairly hard on, got a score of 75, other one I got a score of 61, and then just to put that in context, here's how I did the most recent time I took out my CZP09. I got scores of 57 and 65. So, uh, the Bursa TPR9C, if I try real hard, I can actually do better than I do with my P09, which is a full-size gun. So the fact that the Bursa can do better is pretty cool, considering that the Bursa is basically a compact gun, comparable in size roughly to the Glock uh, 26. But when fatigue sets in and those kinds of things, um, I can do pretty bad, and it winds up basically being between the two scores that I got with the CZ. Uh, P09 that is. So as far as the Bursa is concerned, uh, roughly comparable to full-size 9mm handgun for me. So that's cool. Uh, also while I was out there I shot my CMR30 again, which is one of my favorite guns to shoot. And I actually do pretty decent at distance with it. Not as good as some people, but for me I consider it to be pretty good. Uh, ignore that target over there, that was just sighting it in. When I actually went to shoot it intentionally, that was uh, what I got. Of course, it's a six-shot group. And you can see that all of them are in the nine ring or touching, which for me is pretty good. For some people, that wouldn't be remarkable at all. But for me, that's pretty good. Wound up getting a score of 880. And to compare that to the last time I took it out shooting, um, targets look relatively similar. You'll see I have three in the ten ring and then three outside. Last time I shot it, I got three in the ten ring and three outside. Well, technically that one's actually touching it, so I could count that one. Um, but still, three shots that are pretty good and then three that are a little bit further out. But you'll notice between the two uh, that the most recent time that I took it out is definitely uh, more centered. The last time I took it out, I, I definitely had some more leftward stringing. And I seem to have corrected that problem this time, so I'm happy about that at least. And the last time I shot it, my score was 750, as opposed to now 880. So I am seeing improvement there. That is always encouraging. All right, and then, uh, also, this has been a little while back, but not too terribly long back. I was shooting my PMR-30, the, the handgun that's 22 Magnum. And the first group that I shot was this one right here. And you can see that uh, the vast majority of the shots are in the 10 ring or touching it, but a couple of them made it into the 9 ring or touching that one. And um, of course, when I do handguns, I usually those, do those at 10 yards. And so the score on that, if I can find it, was 94. The best you could get at 10 yards would be 100, so that's not bad. So, um, but still, you see that hand that pattern that I have with handguns that I tend to shoot to the right and I tend to shoot up. All right, and then um, after I shot that group, I, I went ahead and just emptied the magazine. It has a 30 round magazine, so there's plenty of rounds to end. And I was able to center it a little bit better, but you can still see a, a rightward tendency and an upward tendency. And when I did that one, just to put a score on it to, to have fun, got a score of 91, and that one, I wasn't particularly trying too terribly hard, but even at that, I still did pretty good. Um, I'm just a whole lot more accurate with a more uh, a, a round that is more conducive 
to operating for someone who's recoil sensitive. And I love my 22 Magnums in that regard. Great for recoil sensitivity, not necessarily the most effective around the world, but I can hit what I'm aiming at, generally speaking. And not bad. Like I said, at this range, best score is 100. And I got 91 and 94. So not bad at all. And this one might seem like it's pretty spread out, and it kind of is, but a lot of these shots in here are actually double shots. And that's why the, the score was still so high, is there's actually quite a few there. A lot of them just wound up kind of going through the same hole, though. All right, and then last but not least, I was able to put a red dot on my CZ Scorpion. And ignore that one, that was just sighting it in. But after I got it sighted in, that is the group that I got, and this is at 50 yards. Um, so roughly a three and a half inch group at 50 yards. So not great, but compared to what I've seen a lot of people do online, that's actually not completely out of the, the scope for the CZ Scorpions. And so taking all that into account, the score that I got was 410. At this distance, the best you could get is 500. So not great, but not terrible either. And to put that in perspective, the last time I shot this easy scorpion with open sights, I, if I can find it, got a score of 340. So 340 compared to 410, these are both at the same distance, these are both at 50 yards. Um, you can definitely see this is much more spread out than this one is in general. And so I'm pretty happy about the improvements that way. And then just to put it in perspective, my Tavor, which I also shot at 50 yards, and it also has a red dot. That's what you have here. And the last time I shot it, I got a score of 360. So my Tavor with a red dot, 360. Scorpion with a red dot, 410. So, yeah, the CZ is, at least for me, uh, more accurate. Just putting that in perspective. You can see fairly large group, relatively small group, makes sense. Um, I'm happy with both of them, I like both of them, and I use both of them as kind of bedside guns, and so I would never use them at 50 yards. That would be a huge bedroom, um, so I don't really need them to be super accurate, but if you are planning on doing some distance work with it, uh, the CZ might be a better option for you than the, the, the Tavor. Um, I, I still personally like the Tavor quite a bit. You can see it off over there in the corner. I obviously still use it quite a bit. Um, but, objectively, the CZ is more accurate, at least for me. Uh, using the same sighting system, the exact same red dot sight on each one, um, sighted in the same way, all that, this CZ uh, just does better. Alright, so that is everything that I had to tell you guys, update on the shooting and all that kind of stuff. Have a good one. Bye.